Alrighty guys, welcome to the next video of Shopify How To. This one we're going to show you how to do the note navigation. This is a tricky one. Well, once you understand it, it's very simple, but it's it's one that people always ask us for help on. So once you understand this, guys, you'll be ahead of most people. So first thing we do is we come to online store and we come to navigation. Now this is just referring to your menu. So there's two menus, remember guys, this one up the top, which is your main menu, and this one down the bottom, which is your footer menu. So let's start on the main menu first. So to keep this simple, I'm actually just gonna delete everything because I wanna show you how to add everything from scratch. Might make it a bit easier, a bit better to understand. So title, main menu, call it whatever you want, capital menu if you want, completely up to you. So what do we do? We need to add menu item. So the first, most menus have home in them. So home is an option up there, so we go add. Um, and then they usually go straight into collections. So what collections do we have on this? Remember we have bug, nets, we have spray, and we have zapper. So let's add them all. So add bug nets, and then we go add menu item. We go collection, and we go, the next one is spray, add. Then we go add menu item, collections. The next option was zapper, so we add that. And then most, most have contact us. So we go to link, then we go to pages. And then we might have contact us at the bottom. Nice and simple, that's a pretty normal menu, guys. Now, you might wanna get a bit more advanced. You might wanna put a drop down menu. So you might, like if you have multiple menus, you might have one that says mosquito. So you might have mosquito, we just link that to home for now. And we just go to add. Now I want Mosquito to be the top one for my drop-down menu. So how do I how do I add these products into my drop-down menu? All you need to do, click those buttons, drag to the right. Now it's a drop-down product. Very simple. How do I get this one in here? Click up, I drag under. Oh, sorry, I drag under here. Now that's in there. What if I wanna have a drop-down menu within a drop-down menu? Drag to the right. And then I can add products within that menu or I can add products within this drop down menu. If I want to bring that back to the normal menu, just bring it back up. Now, if I just want to add products, if I, instead of dragging Zappa, I might just click here, click collections and add Zappa. Done. Nice and simple. So that's the basics of a menu, guys. It's really simple, works really well. Um, I, I think the more I think about it, I don't think Shopify could have made this any more simple. It's, it's really perfect. So once I've done that, I click save. Now I click on navigation again because I want to edit my footer. So what do I have? Footer menu here, Let's click footer menu. I have search, contact us. Now I want to add a few more things in here. So I click add menu. Now if it's sites built by us, this will already be done. But if not, we just come down here to policies and I want to add refund policy, check. I want to add policies again. I want to add privacy policy, check. So we've done privacy policy twice. Sorry guys, my mistake. Should have done refund policy there. So let's go again. Refund policy, I've done privacy policy. Refund policy. And what was the third one? So I've done privacy, I've done refund. Terms of service. And I usually like to have contact us at the bottom. And you know, you might even want to add that blog from before. So I go to blogs. Where are we? Blog posts. Okay, they're not on there yet because we haven't published. I didn't end up publishing that one, but that would just be under blogs and you just select it and upload it. But yeah, that's simple guys. Keep it nice and simple and always hit save. Thank you guys and that's the basics of navigation.